everyone. I am sick again. <laughs> My immune system sucks, but we're not going to talk about that today. But since the last video, I mean, I'm super behind on my videos, but we moved the boys to their pen. That's little Taz over there, and he is just like his mom. He is a very loud goat. He even has that same tone and that same kind of the accent. I promise. That's that's Annabelle and Tess. They have the same tone and the same everything and they're both as loud. So Rocky is here in the boys' pen. I'll do another video and I'll show you around. Uh, we uh, when it started the you know, we were close to breeding season. We uh, knew that Rocky was gonna go into rut and so we kind of improvise a shelter there right now it has a bunch of stuff outside but that's that's not how it's gonna look uh, we have some roofing that we got for free from a neighbor um, in a farm and so that's that's going to be done and then I'll share a video of the process on how we started this pen and how it looks in the end Right now, everything is improvised. Like, I have a wood chipper where the <laughs> gate is over there because we, in a hurry, we installed that wrong and it opens outwards. <laughs> we need to turn it around this weekend and put a latch, a couple of them. I was thinking I have a little something in there. Now, the shelter, they have a dog kennel inside there so they can stay safe at night. And as you can see, we still have a lot of materials and stuff going on there. But um, it's good enough for them right now. It's okay. I mean, they're going to be just fine over there. They're still safe, even though we're kind of in the woods. Um, and the kennel is pretty safe and then I put a little screen in the door and I bungee I use a bungee to kind of close it super tight um, it's been super super loud I mean you can hear this all day she's like that all day long it's been at this point since I moved him here, a little Taz, that I'm weaning him. It's going to be a week tomorrow. And he still screams bloody murder. Now, right now he's eating and he's still screaming. Like he'll stop eating just to scream. Rocky, he doesn't care. Here, there he goes. I mean, he's right there. Look at him. I'm going to try to focus on him right now. He is a yellow pea mess. He was able to breed Clara. This happened September 20th. Let me focus. This happened September 20th. Um, and she stayed with him for a couple of days until she was over him. But she did stay for him. Uh, she was very excited to be with him, but then I moved her back. Today is day 19 uh, after that happened, so she should be bred. Mm, she's doing just fine. No discharge, no flagging, not being loud. So I'm pretty sure she's pregnant, although we still have two more days. So by Monday, I'll be able to tell if she was bred or not and I'll still keep track just in case I miss something uh, so they I think that Clara and Rocky are just gonna have some beautiful babies I mean I love him so much not only because he's a silver buck but how he is growing into a big buck I mean is it's just I just like him so much and I like his temperament I like how he's like 
I don't know, very calm and very patient and he's not aggressive at all towards anybody, not people, especially not people, but you know, with the does or anything, he's not an aggressive buck. So um, he is happy to be here. He's happy to be eating. There's a lot of clover and things that weeds that they can eat there. As I said, that shelter is bothering me right now, but it's just all the materials that are sitting against it. Uh, and Annabelle and Taz have been so loud lately, but I mean, so loud. Right now, she is standing and looking at me right there. And Taz is being calm because I am sitting here. He just kind of wants the comfort of seeing me around. And so he, you know, he'll make those little noises. But he won't scream bloody murder. But as soon as I get out of here and I go to cook or do something, they'll both start screaming. Now, it's because Annabelle, today, she's in heat. I promise, it's like there's always somebody in heat. Um, on the 20th, it was Clara. Then last Sunday, it was Mocha. And Mocha wasn't loud, but she was like persistent. Like she wanted to go with the bugs. Um, and Annabelle, she is so loud. Every time she's in heat, she is super, super loud. And so, just to confirm, because yesterday she was quiet, like, you know, I just wasn't sure if it's she's being loud because she misses her boy that is here. What is your little task? Come here, my boy. Oh, you itchy, little, little rocks? You want to say hi to the camera? Hey, when you say hi, oh, you're all peed. See, this is what I'm talking about. He's behaving like a full-grown buck. He's peeing himself. He's obsessed. He is actually, he was trying to do the deed with every single girl. And when the girl started to go in heat, I just couldn't risk it. I mean, he is very uh, ready to breed. So I just couldn't, so I had to wean him at nine weeks. I had to start weaning him and he is hungry. That's the problem. That's why he's screaming so much because he won't take a bottle and um, he will eat, but that's not what he wants. What he wants is milk. Uh, little Rocky right here. Look at that face. Goodness gracious. Look at that face and that hairstyle. You're so handsome, boy. Oh, you're, yes, you, you're handsome. Now you can see all the silver in him and how long his hair is. Well, anyways, uh, so as I was mentioning, the pen is still a mess that we're going to try to fix between today and tomorrow. But tomorrow will be raining, so I don't know how much we'll get that. So we'll but anyways, um, Annabelle was super loud today and I thought, is she missing her boy? because he's still screaming for her but then I decided to come <laughs> pet Rocky you know and all his pee that he has in his head and then go and show it to the girls and um, basically <sighs> she started fra fla flagging her tail and you can tell that she's in heat I showed the other girls the same scent and none of them started flagging and it's ridiculous how loud Annabelle is today so I don't know anymore I swear I feel like everyone is in heat now for right now it's only gonna be Mocha and Annabelle every 21 days because I am not planning to breed them <sighs> maybe I'll breed them in the spring or you know some time to have fall babies but right now they're just gonna keep going in heat because they just had their babies and I you know they act like they're ready you know <laughs> they go in heat and it seems like they can't wait to get here with the boys but no and so yeah that's just, yeah I mean Taz is with the boys 
and little Duke is going to come with the boys too. I haven't put him here because we're going to reinforce the top of the pan and we're going to fix the gate before we move him here because um, Duke is super strong with his legs and he is great at climbing stuff and escaping things so that's why he's not here but he will be here with the boys I am just gonna keep the girls over there and that will give Clara a little bit of room because I feel like Duke feels like you know that's his mom and so he annoys her but pretty much it um, <laughs> kind of crazy and loud and uh, I've been having to apologize with all my neighbors even though they're pretty far away you can hear them I would say from 500 feet as if you were just here I mean that's how loud they are I know that Annabelle, as soon as she, you know, the the heat passes, she'll be okay. But I also noticed, and I was kind of waiting for this to confirm that she was in heat because she's been producing less milk. Yesterday she gave me less, and today pretty much the same amount. So it's still less of what she gives me. So I knew that something was up, and now... I just confirm it with a little scent trial. So anyways, that's what's up over here. Me, still sick, the goats moving on with their lives, and um, a lot of things that need to happen before the rain gets here. I'm pretty sure that Clara is pregnant as of today. I will continue to check, but if she is and she doesn't come into heat, uh, or if she doesn't go into heat tomorrow or the day after, she Ill, will be delivering babies February 15th. So super excited for Clara in the breeding season. She's going to be the only one that it will be uh, pregnant throughout the winter. But, you know, I want to breed the little girls, uh, Mocha, so that's going to have to... A little, it's a little bit more tricky because they're half sisters to Rocky so I'm gonna have to find a buck for them but I love those girls they are so good like their body everything is so good it and they are just as sweet as their mom and I absolutely love Mocha so even though I've been offered to um, you know good money for them um, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to do that because, you know, their dad is such a great bug. I love Mocha. She's a great though. I love everything about her, her body and everything. So I just don't see myself selling the girls right now. And I think I'm going to breed them for a couple, couple of times. And uh, pretty sure they're just going to stay here on the farm. It's just going to be a little bit more tricky, the part of figuring out the buck situation anyways thank you so much for stopping here at the farm i appreciate each and every one of you all your comments and everything uh it means a lot welcome to everyone that's new i've been leaving uh messages and mentioning you know where you're coming from and yeah if you are new and you haven't subscribed please do so and i will talk to you guys next time bye